Hey, what's up? This is Scott with Level Up Tuts, and today we're going to be going over sprites within Compass. And if you're not familiar with sprites, I suggest you do a little bit of reading first, because I'm not going to go over all the basics, but really, it's going to take, uh, it's, it, you'd be used in a situation where you have uh, images like this, let's say there's four images here, um, you would use a sprite to load one image instead of however many you have, in this case it would be four, and then you would just use CSS to show and hide the uh, relevant parts of the image. So right now we just have these four images. And what's great about Compass is you can give it a bunch of images in a folder and then Compass will automatically generate that sprite for you. So this is really powerful because, you know, sometimes creating a sprite and then having to grab its background position and everything takes a lot of time. Um, and this pretty much takes no time in comparison. So it's really exciting. Um, in the last lesson, we made sure that your config RB file was pointed to your images folder. And if you browse here, let's see, you see in my images folder, we have our icons. So what you, the first thing you want to do is you want to put them in a folder. I'm going to be putting them in a folder. I'm just going to call it social. I'm going to name it something relevant to what the sprite is going to be. Okay, and in the meantime, I'm actually going to co uh, comment out this code here because we're not going to use it. Okay, you can see our images have gone away. Okay, so our images are now living in this social folder. So the easiest way to use sprites with Compass is, is actually really easy. So we're going to do at import, and then we're going to say the location to where that social folder is. But you don't need to say image because it's already looking in your images folder. Uh, so you just have to say social or whatever the title of your sprite folder is, and then slash, and then you're going to do star, and then dot PNG. And so this signifies that it's going to look for all of the files in social that are of the same, so transparent PNG files. So that is, is what's going to build your sprite. If you we save this out, um, you'll notice in your CSS, nothing's changed. Uh, because we're not doing anything yet except for saying, hey, look in social for these files. But if we go to our finder, you'll notice that a sprite has been generated for us already. It's that easy. And so from here, let's say, um, you know, that's all you wanted to do. You could rename this file and then just use sprites as normal. However, Compass makes it super easy to do way more than that. So in the most basic implementation, let's just do at include, and then we're going to say all slash, and then whatever your folder is, social slash or hyphen sprites. And then we're going to finish it off with a colon or semicolon. We'll hit save. And now let's check out our CSS. And this is pretty amazing. Okay, so what it's done is it says, okay, social sprite, social Facebook, social RSS, social Twitter, social YouTube. It's grabbed these from the image name and it's saying use this background image. And then it's now giving us classes, social Facebook uh, background image of this position. So if we go into our HTML and we actually just add social hyphen save. We should refresh, and there's our images. If we inspect this, you can see it is using, let's see, where are we at, where are we at? It is using the sprite and then doing all of the background position and everything calculation for us. This is extremely easy. Um, this, this took me absolutely no time and two lines of code to generate all of the CSS sprites, I mean, that that's just pretty staggering. It's it's awesome. So let's say you didn't, you know, you don't want to rename these all, whatever, social. So let's say also you want to have more control. So let's refresh. Okay, they're gone. So let's get rid of this line. And let's say you just want to call the Twitter one. And so like before, we already have a class called dot Twitter. So let's, or we already have a class called Twitter. So let's do dot Twitter. And then inside of your declaration here, we're going to give it brackets and we're going to say at include. And this is the part where it's awesome. Uh, we can just say social slash 
or hyphen sprite, and then we're gonna do parenthesis, and then just the name of the file. So we're just gonna say Twitter, okay? And then we finish it off with a semicolon, we'll save it, and let's check out what our CSS says. So our CSS is grabbing this, we refresh, and it's the Twitter icon, it's absolutely perfect. Um, it's still loading the social sprite and then just giving us just the Twitter. Um, likewise, if we wanted to, Facebook, um, let's see, and again, it's at include social sprite Facebook. Okay, semicolon save, refresh, and there's your Facebook. It's awesome. If you notice about this, uh, this, this social is the name of our folder. If we changed our folder, this would also be changed. So um, just like in the other example where we did the all social sprite, um, that social comes from the folder. You change your folder, you change this. So as you can see from this basic example, um, sprites with compass is effortless. I mean, that's just really how it is. It's, it's just as easy as it gets. Um, and uh, that's all you really need to implement this. Of course, there's some more features and they make it much more flexible in case you need that flexibility and you need to adjust them. So in the next lesson, we're gonna be going over some of the flexible options within Sprites for Compass. If you have any questions or comments, um, as always, feel free to leave a comment on our page, hit us up at Twitter at LevelUpTuts, or shoot me an email, it's scott at leveluptuts.com. You know, let me know what you think. Okay, once again, thanks for watching. Bye.